Alright guys, welcome back. This is Life is Strange and this is part 6 of episode 5, Polarized. I feel we're really nearing the end of the story here, but this, as you saw in the last episode, if you did watch the last episode, if you didn't, what are you doing here? Go back and watch it now and come back when you're done. <laughs> um, guys, it's, it's really unravelling. There's something very, very odd going on. We're in some kind of weird plane of existence. And I apologize if it's a little bit dark. Oh, it was birthday last month. This was my real father's camera. I want you to have it. Yes, the parts. Of it's cool. Oh, hang on. Thank you. This camera is so sweet. Now that we got that mushy shit out of the way, I feel like stage diving. Let's thrash this place. Yep, yep, I'm fucking insane in the brain. Let's dance. Shake that bony white ass. Or take my picture with your new camera. So yeah, uh, sorry, but uh, there's some very strange things happening. There seems to be... I feel like we're on the edge of being given some information that maybe I've kind of suggested that already. I don't know. We'll see. This song fucking rules. Can't dance, hippie? Come on. Rock out, girl. Yo, turn it off. Turn it off. You need to hide now. My stepdad will kill me if he finds you here. That's true. Wow, these are all the, that was one time I had to make a, a fairly You were here today, Max. Tough decision. I'm still tripping on that. Seeing you after all these years feels like destiny. If this is destiny, I hope we can find Rachel. I miss her, Max. What the hell is this? Snowflakes? Oh wow. Our storm is coming. Max, start from the beginning. Tell me everything. Let's talk about your superpower. Epic! I pledge allegiance to Max and the power for which she stands. This is all about Chloe. Welcome to American Rust, my home away from hell. Raw and rough. It suits you. Max, do you know how awesome this is? I get my best friend back and she's also supersized. I don't feel so super. Oh, and then there's the railway track. Again. Crazy. Now we're totally bonded for life. Since you're the mysterious superhero, I'll be your faithful chauffeur and companion. My powers might not last, Chloe. That's okay. We will. Forever. Wow, this is a trippy scene. Just look at this. Insane. I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my partner in time. I might get on the other side of that door before you, Max. You better come check out these files. This is like an entire recap of the story here. This is... Rachel in the dark room. Rachel in the dark room. Rachel in the dark room. Now we know what that means. Oh, yeah, in the pool. Your power is changing everything, Max. Let's call it a draw. I'm gonna freeze my ass off when I get out. And we have to run away from everybody. Oh, this is this is like a diorama of everything we've done so far. Different world from yesterday. We left a skid mark on Blackwell last night. Huh. Wish we could just. I double dare you. Kiss me now. Oh yeah. Damn, you're hardcore, Max. She wasn't expecting that. Warren and tell him he doesn't stand a chance. Unless he's in a girl and oh, we could cruise everywhere in this bad boy. Can you see us heading down the coast of Big Sur and beyond? I know. Just daydreaming. That makes me ill that Rachel posed like this for Frank. I wrote him love letters. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Re Not until I see it first. You know the rules, Dad. Oh. Dude, I am so lucky that my father is cool. Tried to save yes, you are being so Chloe's dad. This this whole path. It's all about Chloe. I know. She's the one whose life I've tried to change the most. Tried to help all along the way. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. When I tried one thing to save her dad, this happened. This is seriously the best view. I had to go put that back again. Awesome. Let her dad die. 
looks so badass in her pirate. But not before she'd asked me we should have taken to her end her life for her while she was in hospital. Listen, Mac. And I couldn't do it. I, don't, I know there's a few people who chose to do that. I couldn't. I just couldn't do it. I'm just, I'm so glad you're here. You sound high, but thanks for the morning grope. <laughs> up all night playing CSI Arcadia Bay. I was still spaced out here trying to put all this info together. Yeah, so that's when I came back and changed reality back to the way it was. All those binders. Here we go, and we found all these photos. This was before we found out who it was doing all of this. This really is the story from end, from beginning to end, I presume we're going to find the end very soon. What's going on? Max, come on now. Don't worry, don't worry. We'll be okay. Oh, this is right now. What the hell? Chloe wasn't here in my vision, I don't think, before. Max. Max, can you hear me? Please say something. Chloe, I, I must have passed out. Oh, thank God. Don't you ever do that again, okay? I swear. But that nightmare was so real. It was so horrible. Well, the lighthouse is destroyed. I don't know if you saw that in the background. Heading towards... This is my storm! I caused this! I caused all of this! I changed fate and destiny so much that... I actually did alter the course of everything! And all I really created was just death and destruction! Fuck all of that, okay? You were given a power, you didn't ask for it! And you saved me! Which had to happen, all of this did! Except for what happened to Rachel. But without your power, we wouldn't have found her! Okay, so you're not the goddamn Time Master, but you're Maxine Caulfield! And you're amazing! Max! This is the only way. God. I feel like I took the shot a thousand years ago. You... You could use that photo to change everything right back to when you took that picture. All that would take is for me to... To die. To get <laughs> shot by Nathan. That. No. No way. You are my number one priority now. You are all that matters to me. I know. You proved that over and over again. Even though I don't deserve it. I'm so selfish. Not like my mom. Look what she had to give up and live through. And she did. She deserves so much more than to be killed by a storm in a fucking diner. Even my... My stepfather deserves her alive. There's so many more people in Arcadia Bay who should live. Way more than me. Don't say that. I won't trade you. You're not trading me. Maybe you've just been delaying my real destiny. Look at how many times I've almost died or actually died around you. Look at what's happened in Arcadia Bay ever since you first saved me. I know I've been selfish, but for once... I think I should accept my fate. Our fate. Chloe. Max, you finally came back to me this week, and you did nothing but show me your love and friendship. You made me smile and laugh like I haven't done in years. Wherever I end up after this, in whatever reality, all those moments between us were real, and they'll always be ours. No matter what you choose, I know you'll make the right decision. 
Chloe. I can't make this choice. No, Max. You're the only one who can. God, this is awful. This is absolutely awful. Oh my god. I have a choice to sacrifice Chloe or the entire civilization of Arcadia Bay. I mean, come on. The game's that's too deliberate. The needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. It's a very famous quote from something you guys will probably remember. <sighs> or the needs of the one. One life or all of them, all of the rest of them. Oh, I can't destroy the whole town and, and the game knows that too, but I don't want Chloe to die either. I have to do the the greater good thing. I think oh. I really would like to know what happens if I press the Arcadia Bay button here, but I've got to take this option. Max. So sorry. It's time. Chloe. I'm so so sorry. I I don't want to do this. I know, Max. But we have to. We have to save everybody, okay? And you'll make those fuckers pay for what they did to Rachel. Being together this week, it was the best farewell gift I could have hoped for. You're my hero, Max. Forget about me. Never. So the vision I had at the beginning of the game was merely telling me that the place I was going to be when I had to make the most important decision was right here by the lighthouse with the storm approaching Arcadia Bay. I don't believe it. It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You're okay, bro. Just come to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. Oh, God, now I understand so the butterfly. I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. You don't know. And I didn't even I know am. it was her. Who you're messing around with? Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho!
Oh, this is so heartbreaking. He got arrested for it. And I never saw her again. They arrested Jefferson. And I never saw her again. And I never saw her again. Got a necklace with the dough on it. Look. So yeah, David, I think you were right, if you remember. Maybe Chloe was just always destined to die. What would have happened if I'd have chosen the sacrifice Arcadia Bay option? I don't know. I know it'll be on YouTube there somewhere, so I'm going to go and look, look at that and see what it was. How it would have played out, but I've got a feeling... This was the only outcome. thing about all of this is I have this power I can never use it to help anyone ever I can probably never ever use it again so what was the point of it
Wow. Oh, man. Absolutely incredible game. And I guess an inevitable ending, but... Oh, I just wanted it to be different. I wanted... Ah, she was so happy with Chloe. I mean, you guys are probably watching this, and I, I, mean, I probably will know by the time... By the time this comes out, what the alternate ending is, because I won't release this for a couple of days anyway. Um... In fact, don't drop it in the comments. I was going to ask you to drop it in the comments, but of course other people might come along to watch this video and they won't know the ending yet, so no spoilers for those guys. Um, but, oh man, please don't forget to hit the like to, to hit the like button. And, and first of all, you know, what an amazing series. I've so, so loved playing this game. AC, you, you, th you rec recommended it to me and you were so damn right. Uh, it was brilliant and I cannot wait for the next one which I believe there is going to be which is really cool okay so just over half of people decided to sacrifice Chloe so agreed with me I wonder I wonder what would have happened um, David got a scar during the fight yep yeah. he didn't kill Jefferson Okay, so there was a way of getting Jefferson killed in that fight. Interesting. I saved the trucker. I saved Evan. I saved Alyssa. I saved the fisherman. I helped Joyce believe in David again, which a lot of people didn't. But I'm surprised at that. Because after what he did, I would have thought everyone should realise he was he's actually a good guy. Um, vastly misunderstood. Uh, told the truth about F Rachel to Frank. He, yeah, he had to know. Um, and I kissed Warren, like everybody else almost did. <laughs> the 5% of people didn't show Warren any affection whatsoever. Poor fella. Um, wow. Wow, absolutely wow. Well, saving all those other people and everything else that happened, it's just never. none of it ever happened. It's just so... <laughs> So upsetting. That's world stats. Okay. Um, I guess we're done. The game is over. Thank you for playing Life is Strange. And thank you guys watching this for playing it with me. Season 1, it says. <laughs> Absolutely epic. Wow. Well, right. Going to wrap it up. Um, so much fun. And uh, thank you all once again for, for watching and playing it with me. As it says down below, if you've been affected by any of the themes in Life is Strange, please go to www.lifeisstrange.com slash talk. Uh, and there'll be people there who, who can listen to you if they have a, if, if you're affected. Um, and you need to talk. We just want to you just want to talk about what's happened. Um absolutely awesome loved it so much please share it with your friends um if if they can't play the game then they should at least get to see it it was a great story and uh hit the like button if you're if you aren't subscribed to the channel then please go ahead and do that and uh well the last thing i can say is thank you what a what a great series i've really enjoyed it um oh i have to say goodbye now <laughs> goodbye